Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Scorpio. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that video, but Scorpio, there's something. You have something to do. Either you got a hidden enemy that's a Pisces, or you're about to find out some things. Maybe you set a trap for him. And, mm -hmm. But let's find out. Let's see. That one. Damn, it's too bright. All right, Pisces. <laughs> Pisces. Are you dealing with the Pisces? Are you keeping a Pisces hidden? I don't know, but are you freaking crazy? Estas loco? Estas loca? I don't know, but I just keep hearing that. But we're going to find out because for a lot of you guys, look at this. Pisces. Oh, my God. See? There you go. Ahí está, look. Pisces has fallen. Se echó de cabeza. Maybe you were dealing with the Pisces that didn't want you to go towards the earth sign. Now you know. Scorpio, are you dealing with the Taurus? That's your opposite right there. You're one seven. Pisces, if this is an X, we're going to find out right now. But if this is an X, because this is a man right there. God, they done lost you for good. Whew. Now, if this, if this is, let's see what happened right here. Oh my God, look, look where you're heading. So if this was an ex, I don't know. I'm getting it's a sibling, even though it's, it's a man falling right here. But with this card right here, this is, look at the four of wands. It's somebody that you were probably in the, in the marriage with. Maybe you caught this particular person red-handed. I don't think this particular person thought you were going to leave as a two of cups. Because that message, it said something about you finding love. Maybe they didn't think you had options. Maybe they didn't want to come towards you. Maybe they weren't choosing you. Mira, pinche diablo. Yeah. Look, the devil, it just hit right now. What I heard right now. <laughs> Scorpio. Tienes hasta el pinche diablo dancing way. Even the devil is scared right now. <laughs> they don't know what decision. Scorpio, for a lot of you guys, like when I said crazy, loco, loca, there's something that you're doing different. Either you just went straight in and handled your business, whether it was this betrayal, Look, Hall, then maybe you went straight for your shadow work. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> maybe 9 11 when I said that. Oh, no, it's 3 three eleven. I can't see. Somebody can't stand seeing you move forward. <laughs> this person could be right there. Look, all alone, man or female. Naked picture with you at the top. So that means that you were the best they ever had, is what I'm here. Put it in the comments. But listen, listen. Because I'm hearing this could even be just a, just a sibling, you know, that it's almost like they didn't want you to be with a particular person. But for a lot of you guys know there was something about this. If you were married to, to a Pisces, damn, okay, let's keep it moving. Anyways, but you move forward straight to this devil. The devil's even shaking, and I just see that it's Scorpio. Put it in the comments. What are you dealing with? Are you dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus? <laughs> For some of you guys, it could be somebody from work. And this kind of showed up right there. But even then, this guy's not even paying attention to you. So look, there's karmic justice right here and the will right behind it. For a lot of you guys, this, is, this could even be somebody that's competing against you. Whether it be with work, because we saw right here with work, look it up. Or it could be your love life, too. So we got two stories. But somebody that might have left you out of the cold, Ira, maybe you busted them like this. Look at that. Only. Or maybe it's you that found you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing yes, yes. 
and your ex is finding out. But look, where was your ex? Acá, dando las nalgas, giving up the D, <laughs> the dingling. Look, I don't think they expected you to find somebody. For a lot of you guys, Scorpio, I don't know. You, it's like your opposite. Look at this. Maybe you're meeting somebody. Either you or you're a little dark. And you're meeting somebody a little bit lighter. And here you are again, look. And this, this, you know what? Somebody, like a Pisces, maybe you're dealing with. I don't think they ever thought you were going to find somebody else. Maybe they took you for granted. Maybe they were holding you back is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing they were holding you back. Look at this. These two fell back. I mean, fell, <laughs> they fell back when they seen you. Look at this. You were dealing with somebody. Ladies or my men. For a lot of you guys, this is the ladies. And I'm not saying it was you. But they could have been giving the money to the other ladies, what I'm hearing. And it's almost like you're like, dude. I have all your love. Why? Where's my? Where's the money? Why are you giving it to this person? For some of you guys, you were going through financial abuse. You were dealing with, with uh, maybe you were dealing with a what is it? An air sign? Just somebody with this energy. Yeah, they love you, but they maybe showed you love by being a little strict. And this fucker is is this. I don't see no fun in this guy. Maybe if you were dealing with somebody that just was strict. There was no love. And you sat here and you're like, man, you really thinking about Scorpio. This could be you or this could be your person that's coming towards you. And maybe you have somebody that's trying to interfere. They don't want you to get back. So for, for this, because the other video, uh, the device said, hold up. This is just, a. am going to put it bonus. I don't need some of you guys are. They're looking at you and they're. And they're thinking and they're wondering and they're like, man, where the hell are you, Scorpio? A lot of you guys are unpredictable right now. For some of you guys, you have people confused. Why? Seven of Pentacles we're going to put over here. Some of you guys. Something about the number seven. Seventy-four. You guys could be born on the seventy-fourth or July the fourth. Something, something. There's a lot of people here. And then you have ten over here with the lovers. You lovers are six, so that could be in June. And then two. Yes. Some of you guys, the reason you've been unpredictable and they can't find you, you didn't tell nobody. You just, look, you taking off. A lot of you guys started to embrace your spiritual journey. Now, could it have been that you wanted to get away and you didn't want to tell nobody? Maybe you were holding up money. Estabas escondiendo. You were holding up. And you're just ready to go, look. But the problem was, Scorpio, for a lot of you guys, you had too many eyes. Estas chismosas, these, these you know, gossiping bitches, I heard. Men or female. And if they're men, they're fucking bitches, I heard. They didn't think you were going to leave. And look, when you stepped out, when you took your power back, Scorpio, when you took your fucking power back, Look what you get. You get the Ten of Wands. Now, you could be the lady, you could be the man. And why? Why didn't you want people to know? It's for a lot of you guys. Either it was two families that they didn't want you guys to come together. Or there's a jealous sibling within here. That caused all this. They didn't want you to be together. And for some of you guys, I'm picking up on a story. You see the queen? 
if that person was married. Corporate, were you dealing with somebody that was married? For some of you guys, no, they're a widow. Motherfucker's coming out from the grave. He's looking for you. What you messing with my wife or my husband for? But this is a counterpart, look. And he's pissed. So maybe you guys could have went through a divorce and this particular person, this could be the, maybe he has Pisces in his chart. But this fucker's pissed. The moon's out over here on this deck over here. And you got the magician. So behind the scenes, I don't know. I'm Pisces, for a lot of you guys, you were this close to giving up on this spiritual journey. This close is what I'm hearing. Or maybe you were making them think that you were that close, that close. But there's something that you found. Either you started to connect with the divine and you started to understand your journey or something like that. Dude. This card fell out actually too when I was pre-shuffling and I saw a lot of purple. So either you're opening your third eye or your crown chakra and you're starting to get some downloads, some clarity. And I'm hearing even if you were doing your shadow work because you went straight for the devil. It's like you went on like, look, I know what I got to do. I know the truth behind it. Yeah, I could come back and stab somebody or, you know, call them out. But I don't think, I don't think, Scorpio, you, you haven't. If this is something of where they put you in, maybe they were talking shit. I don't see you saying shit. You're thinking about it. Because you have these two swords and, and it's like the king and queen. This is you balanced. And if it was a fire sign. With Pisces in their chart, or maybe these two people were, <laughs> were in cahoots. But look, oh, if they sent you black magic, look, it's going back. And why is the Ten of Cups right here? Because somebody's getting a spiritual ass whooping for messing with you. Oof. Oof. Look at this. And look, Scorpio, man or woman, you just looking. You just looking at him, look. Right behind it, the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace. And guess what? You see how he's throwing this cup? Scorpio. If somebody's coming back to you, that's a no. Nada. Put it in the comments. El pasado lo dejo atrás. The past, I leave in the... The past. I leave in the past. Some of you guys, the ex. Look, they left you in the, uh, in the Five of Pentacles. You were alone. Taba sola, you were by yourself. Actually, you weren't, because if you see this person behind here, two things. Either they sent somebody to, to guard you without you knowing, and this is the guardian angels, or the person that you were connected to had already somebody watching you. For some of you guys, it could be an investigator, right? You ain't doing shit, so you ain't got nothing to worry about it. But a lot of you guys, yeah, they paid some money. That's why. Can you imagine if somebody is trying to hold you back, like paying somebody money? I hope it's not for this. We ain't getting into that. But somebody paid money, so so maybe you couldn't be with this particular person. Let's see. Is hmm, is that what it was? They were. Uh, look at this. They didn't want you to heal. See, by you leaving. This king of pentacles. By you leaving, you were the blessing. You are the blessing. Put in the comments. The world will close for this particular person. And see, even if this is somebody that even if they stayed with the counterpart, man or woman, business or whatever, He's not even concentrated. He doesn't have love. Look at that. The woman right here, it doesn't represent, oh, he's having an affair or she's having an affair. No. This is the love for the work. But if you see the woman, 
man, she should be posing and getting, you know, like sexy, like Marilyn Monroe. But Marilyn Monroe's right here. This is a duplicate. So maybe that Pisces was a phony copycat. But justice is coming. Don't worry. It's catching up to him or her. All right, let's see. So in this case, for some of you guys, you know you were being tested. And I'm hearing that a lot of you guys, you took off running like this. You could have been in this energy. You could have stayed there thinking of the past. But I'm hearing you let the dice, you, you just let it roll. Look, number four right there. And then with this number four and that, that opportunities, for some of you guys, this, this particular, your counterpart, for the ones that were married or together and you were exiting, they did everything to close opportunities for you. They could have slandered your name. They could have dragged your name through the mud where people wouldn't do business with you. And that's why they were trying to block you. But God has you going somewhere else. If you're in tune, if this is your reading, you already aligned. You already found your purpose. And God already sent you. If that's that person, this one, an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Mm-hmm. Bam. It's just a matter of time. You could have been in this energy. For a lot of you guys, after this fight, whatever they did, and this was double fight. Look at this. Five to the seven, it got intense. I mean, this could have almost killed you. For a lot of you guys, this particular person didn't love you. They, they just watched you suffer, thinking, thinking you were going to die. But Pichi Scorpio, le salites mas listo, listo. You have people, but I said, um, damn Scorpio, you, you, You came out on top. Either way, if that's you, mm -mm. see a lot of you Scorpios, you didn't tell. If you told your side of the story, you know, I don't think they probably would be jumping off of of a of a whatever. But but this is you listening to God, and for a lot of you guys, I just heard some of you guys didn't even hear. It's like you started to trust. And there was something that you unlocked within you. And that's what either your family, because this is a lot of people, this is family reunion. I know there's a lot of girls, but just intuitively, it's almost like out of your whole family, there was a little bit of jealousy. Why? Why her? Why him? You know? But them fuckers wasn't doing that when you were going, <laughs> struggling. Shit, they were even starting the fights. But you were walking away. Look, you were surrendering to God. Which way do I go? And all they did was watch, and that I keep hearing. Scorpio, if this is you, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment. It's like you had enough. And instead of leashing out on them, you knew how to control your emotions. That's no. Yes. Because before you would have been like this. Maybe you have hair in your chart, you would have been whooping some ass, and you would have made the, you would have been like, you know what? Bam. But I love you. But this one, you took it to the next step. You didn't go there. I'm, I'm, man, some of you Scorpios, you passed. You, you passing. You left calm. You didn't. You didn't sit there and want to bullshit. You just, you know, if God told you this is when you run or move this way, you move that way. But you and I and I keep hearing you were this close. Pisces, this close to giving up, waiting on, on God's voice. Because when you heard it, it's almost like it was, and it is for some of you guys, for you to get disciplined. What is discipline? For some of you guys, it's going to be discipline. And what you got to do, leaving the past in the past. Some of you guys are still stuck on somebody in the past. But the minute that you let that energetic cord go, and focus where the universe, because look, this is you right here. You have an option. Do I stay? Do I go? The world is in your hands. 
and this decision, you had to do it I, where nobody was around. And that's when you heard. And you know what? I'm hearing. It was perfect because for some of you guys, you, you were waiting for God's the way he maybe he sent you synchronicities like 999 or whatever. But some of you guys felt it within and you're thinking you're meditating. That's why silence is very important. And even though you didn't hear, you just prayed just with you having that faith, God. I feel that this is the way you got to go. You use your intuition, your discernment. And bam, everything starts to fall. And those people behind, you just leaving them behind. But you know what the, really, okay. This okay for some of you guys, Scorpios. I don't know. This is not gonna resonate for all of you. And I heard because some of you guys, you may be a little shady, or this is what they think. But this is a person that thinks of you like this because you didn't pop the question and you stopped drinking. Maybe you stopped living in the moment. Maybe this was a family that you had. And they were mad because what? Of your spiritual gifts. This is a person that, that turned their back on you and they backstabbed you when you started your journey. Maybe that's the person that fell. Their time is up. They thought they had time, but I'm hearing their time is up. Some of you guys, you kept quiet. Some of you guys have some addiction still. Alcohol, drugs, but it's not the same. And you see how it's upside down? It's some of you guys, it takes a while, but you're very faithful to God. And for some of you guys, when they say you were this close, because you might have relapsed. And even though if you did or not, you still, you still honor God. You ask for forgiveness. And it's almost like little by little, he's been helping you. And again, I tell everybody, no one is perfect but God. And God will accept you if you accept yourself. Because for me, when I look in the mirror, yeah, I see there's a handsome, ugly, however you may think. But for me, chingon, handsome, powerful, courageous. You took your power back. Who you were. You unlocked that key. Who you were. Well, these people were suppressing you. And even with your addictions, you know that God loves you. And that's what it is. I tell people all the time. God made me perfect. That's what he did. So if you had people that backstabbed you, it was a, it was a projection of their insecurities. Some of you guys are still holding on and you can't let go, but this is the moment for you to turn it. The aha moment and say, you know what? Fuck that. Mm -mm. I'm gonna jump on this journey. I'm gonna go under the tree. Maybe some of you guys will hug the tree. I hug the tree all the time. And you're gonna release, you're gonna, <laughs> I'm here, you're gonna be disciplined on this journey. Because a lot of you guys, you want freedom, and it's going to take you closing these cycles. You'll get chance after chance, especially when you connect with God, the universe. You're gonna, when you start to connect and you start to trust, and he's not going to talk to you right away. Because he's going to talk to you uniquely, different from anyone else. Stay obedient. Some people might not be happy. And look, Divine Feminine, that could be you, or that's what's coming to you. And they said, they pull some of these, it says right here, every time I see you, your smile gives me the light. Mm -hmm. If you're mine, you're only mine. I don't share. And I think that's a, that is a Scorpio thing. So some of you guys, you're, you're coming into union with somebody that has the same vibration. 
Y look, one of the things that I think you learn, primero Dios, el dinero viene después. First God, putting God first, and then the money comes easily, effortlessly. Put in the comments. Exodus 23, 7. So that could be May 7th. It says, be sure never to charge anyone falsely with evil. Never send an innocent or blameless per person to death. And maybe you guys were experiencing that. So a lot of you guys, if you came out from somebody false accusations, maybe they... For some of you guys, you were stuck in this. If you were going through a... A separation, if this had to do with false accusations, man, you fought hard. And this is back to back. Look, some of you guys, you thought about death. Um, I don't think you wanted to go to prison. Maybe you didn't deserve prison. Um, if this was family, uh, what are they, oh, oh, man. Some of you guys even got accused of family violence. And even though you fought, you fought, look, some of you guys had a hard time. Some of you guys, they thought they were going to get away with it, man or woman. For some of you guys, it's a woman for my fellows. But they were a cop. <laughs> they were after your money, I heard. But look, they're going to get busted. For some of you guys, it, it was... It was that agreed. They didn't want you to leave. It was going to change their lifestyle. And Scorpio, some of you guys, you just wanted love. And the divine was guiding you. The God, God knows everything. So some of you guys, you didn't, you didn't say nothing. Some of you guys, I'm hearing, look, if you only spoke, whew, that's why justice is coming with that fire. Look at that. And for you, you know, I was like, what makes this person jealous? Because that's a lot of fights. His money comes to you easily and effortlessly. And this is the goal is it more money. The goal is living your life on your own terms. Chris Borgen says that or something. So for a lot of you guys, that's what you had or you have right now going on. Let's see for career real quick. Damn, Scorpio, justice is coming for you. Don't worry. That's crazy. Some of you guys could be born on the 6th. Like I said, the seventh, we have 23rd. Some of you guys, 55, the year 55. Okay, it says right here, independence. For a lot of you guys, they didn't want you to be independent. Some of you guys didn't even have another person. You just wanted out. <sighs> independence. It's time to go out on your own and create your own business or try something well, outside your comfort zone. What are the cabrones? Cabrones, y'all need to get out. It's almost like y'all need to be flexible. One more? All right. Look at you smiling all like this, like a cat. You know cats come and go, huh? Bien chingones. Chingones. All right, one more. Hit the like button, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Let's see. Look at this. <laughs> it says right here, one of us is thinking about sex. Okay, now it's two. So I don't know. For some of you guys, you guys are about to meet somebody that's just going to be talking to you very sexual. Like you guys are peas in a pot. I'm here. This is part of your rewards for listening to God, for being obedient. Look, you have wealth right behind it and spiritual work. So, guys, what you guys are going through right now is part of the difficulties. They wanted me to say different. The difficulties. I'm talking the difficulties. They're not in vain. If you look at them from a higher perspective, from a godly perspective, and stop, who gives a shit about those people, even if it's your parents, your, your brothers, cousins. I don't care how fine or how handsome that, that ex was. Chinga su madre. Throw the chancla, whatever. Don't allow yourself to be limited. God has something important for you. Look at that as a lesson. Cry if you got to cry. And 
look at those emotions, like embrace them. Damn, that shit hurt. And just I'm, I'm being guided just like this. Be pulling that emotion. This girl hurt me. This father hurt me. This other business partner hurt me. This brother hurt me. Whatever. And just and with the death card, it's like you're forgiving, you're letting go, and you don't got to be in front of them. Just forgive them, let them go. The forgiveness is for you. And forget about it. And keep pushing forward. Because look, adventure, baby. It says you make excitement. You make exciting work moves that could take you outdoors or on a trip. You will need to climb steady to reach your financial goals. Some of you guys just need to speak up. It has something to do with the mic. My mic's over here. I don't even know how to connect it. But it says, use your influence for change. You may do public speaking, social videos, or interviews. Your voice and opinions are important. And guys, for a lot of you guys, if you experience something like that with um, false accusations, some of you guys did do time. Some of you guys didn't do that much time. There's a purpose behind it, especially if you, I'm hearing if you're a male, for my ladies too, but mainly for my males, because a lot of you guys didn't even have the chance to, to speak in court. But God was with you the whole time. And you're about to, you're a voice for those people. For them to get justice. Some of you guys don't, just listen to your inner voice because he's going to guide you. But some of you guys are saying, no, no, they already ran my, my name in the mud. No, God, it's perfect timing. Let him do it on his will. He's going to guide you for some of you guys. Somebody else has been watching. For some of you guys, you're going to be the one that's going to expose it. And you're not going to do it out of pity. You're going to be helping humanity. A lot of people have been falsely accused. And you're going to set some people free, even, even just by your experience. Man, you made it out. Yes, I made it out. Because <laughs> some of you guys, look, you were stuck in like amazement. Some of you guys are still stuck. Right? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Be on the lookout for the bonus one. This one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name it the bonus. And if I'm guided to put the other one, because the other one had an um, ancestor, either a past loved one at the end. That shit was crazy. And, and maybe you need to hear that. So give me a few minutes. If you don't see it in the next couple of days, just keep an eye out for it. All right? Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment. Infinite Tarot 888.